<laughs> we know we late. Look, 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 look let's go, bro. The team, the team takes the time. We like, on. Oh, we <laughs> on, y'all. Everything is on. Go on and jump on. Everything is on. We are rocking. Everything is on and going. <laughs> but we thank you, team. <laughs> we thank hey, you. Jazz. I mean, Chaz. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we look. We run a little late. We we get started in two point two seconds. Oh, you got one. Let me talk about that. We go. Look at this shit. Ooh, wait. Your discretion is advised. Speakers up, blasting through your airways. <laughs> Stressing through the week, but now it's hump day. Whether at home or riding through your city, it's always gratitude when you're lounging lyrically. Trying to justify it in the midweek minute. Screaming blessings up to the black on business. We really love our fans and their energy. The message is vibe over everything. What's going on, everybody? I want to welcome everybody out to Midweek Vibe. I'm your boy, Cobain. That is Draper Winston. I am. And it is Wednesday, goddammit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Back like we never left. Back like we never left. I feel like we was just here. We were just here. We were in this motherfucking Saturday. We sure was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because we never miss a fucking week, no matter what's going on. We never miss a week. We make it work. We, we make push it work. the days around, but we, you know. Yeah, but we don't miss a week, though. We won't miss a week. We'll push the days around, but we won't miss a week. What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday. Yes. And uh, we have now officially entered daylight savings time. So, therefore, let me go ahead and give this week's uh, tra traffic report on Deep Ellum's side. On Deep Ellum's side, is looking really, really, really clear. There's a few clouds in the sky. If you're going down to Mix Master, if you're going down 45, 75, or whatever it is, uh, you can make sure you can get off on 30 all right and the streets looking clear if you want to go ahead and get you a happy hour no if you want to do a happy ending that's on you but a happy hour then you are can roll up and down the streets without any coercion that's a <laughs> that's an sat word you can take with you without any coercion all right and then you can go get yourself a beverage of your choice but it's looking really good on the deep ellum side and that's all i got for you for this week's Traffic report. Well, <clears throat> weather report. I got on a hoodie just because I love hoodies and shit like that. But it's kind of nice outside. <laughs> it, really you know? is. it was like in the sixties, you know, the high. You know, the wind was kicking. Look, the wind kicking your ass today. That shit is like, you know, and look in the corners, in the corners of the building. That shit is like four point four point five on a Richter <laughs> scale. And shit. And a Richter scale for wind. But no, it's windy and shit. But it's it's actually good. It's actually good breeze. You know, good patio weather. You know, as I look across at the Stadler, <clears throat> you know, so you can have your hour, have your beverage. Have your beverage. You know, and, yeah. and chill out with the vibe. Chill out with the vibe. <laughs> it is really good. It is, you know, these past few days have been really, uh, really nice. And this past weekend has been even, um, even more amazing with, you know, the weather. You know, Texas is acting right, you know, sometimes. For now. For now. You know, let me not, you know jinx or so if they say you know uh, knock on wood you know as they say because texas is acting like it got some sense at the current moment it is, you know it is. so that's a good thing that texas is acting like they got some sense so we're gonna celebrate that we go for a little bit with a beverage on the patio we we, we gonna celebrate we gonna celebrate <laughs> you know there's a lot to celebrate there's you know, <laughs> a lot to celebrate. There's a lot to celebrate. And there's a lot, you know, a lot that will fuck up a goddamn celebration. Ooh. Ooh. You know? There's so many ways that 
that Some are going to go with that in this on this evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> but, you know, a couple of particulars that we, you know, got to get out the way. Let's um, do it. First off, uh, uh, shout out. Shout out to the king of Akron, you know, LeBron, you know, for, you know, becoming second all time. Second all time in scoring, you know, in the NBA. Second all time. Second all time. Oh, and he's also the first to have to record 10, 10, and 10. Um, what is it? 10, 10, uh, 10, 10, 10, history, 10, 10 points, yep. 10, rebounds, and at least 10, 000, uh, assists. At least 10, 000 assists. He's yeah. also, he's also the first, the youngest, he's also the youngest person in history to hit every round number of points in history. Wow. Well, you know, from 1,000 all the way up to 30, uh, 37,000. So, okay. Now I'm going to ask this, and this is for all you sports fanatics okay. out there. Let's go. And all you, uh, what I want to say, all you uh, LeBronians that are out there in the building, okay? Witnesses. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, see? See? <laughs> witnesses. I mean, you know, so hey. You want to witness. Skip. 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 Look. Skip, I'm gonna tell you this, Skip. Look here, Skip. <laughs> Skip, I'm gonna tell you like this, right? right now. Old, goat, old Goat James. Old, 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 old Goat James. <laughs> old Goat LeBron James. I'm gonna tell you like this, Skip. Now, do you accredit, all right? Okay, I don't know if I said that the right way, mm -hmm. but do you credit LeBron being able to reach all of these goals? Okay. Reach all of these goals. Okay. Because of when he came into the game? No. Okay. Because Kareem Abdul Jabbar is all time leading scorer. And when did he play? Yeah, I mean, but you know, he, Kareem Abdul Jabbar was playing dudes that would go and, and, and go to the factory and work but he, get about the milk, the, and, hey, get milk and shit. Look, <laughs> look, look, that, look, they could also they, look, they could also bring a sledgehammer on the court <laughs> and, <laughs> and at any moment in time and, uh, and well, just knock somebody uh, out. Nancy Kerrigan, you about this one, man? And you can't call the foul on it either. Why? Don't you dare call Why? it. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not funny. That is not funny. Okay, wait. You got to be old enough to know who the fuck I did. That's a bad joke. But listen, I heard a joke today that was really bad, okay? And I shouldn't have laughed at it, but I had to laugh at it. I'm playing Uno with a couple of guys, right? And they are spatting. I'm playing Uno with a couple of guys, oh, and they are spatting. And... And so he gets there after this one dude. He said, hey, I don't have a green card. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, oh, man, I don't have a green card. So the dude said, oh, man, it's okay. My parents don't either. <laughs> oh, shit. And he was like, no, I'm serious. I was like, oh, I, said, I don't know if I should have laughed or oh. not because, man, you said it. Yo. Like, really? I was, like, about, to, I was about to spit that water out of the fuck out of this Yo. <laughs> No, he, oh. just, he just really came out and said it. I was oh like, wait a minute. God. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, but no, so, and and obviously, you know, a lot of people are going to, you know, getting back to LeBron, a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, he, he's in his 19th year, he's yep. just said blah, 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 but a lot of people don't understand. He passed Jordan in scoring with shooting damn near like 2,500 less shots than Jordan did. Golly. Yeah. I about to say like what like whether whether y'all want to like whether y'all want to admit it or not or whatever. The boy is efficient. He's efficient as hell. He is efficient. You know. He is efficient. I, I will have to say that LeBron is one of the most um efficient, you know, basketball players that we'll probably experience. You know, I don't think we'll see another LeBron James. Never. And I look and I'll, I'll just put it I'll just put it like this. I say it all the time and I'll say it again. You know, get away from the greatest of all time to the greatest of an era. You know, you can't. They play two different positions. You can't, you know, compare yeah. them, you know, and, and whatnot. You know, so, you know, on to another, you know, you know, uh, I guess, you know, they call, they call him the best in his own right. You know, they say, like, he's the best ball handler to ever, to ever, uh, you know, grace a basketball court. Kyrie Irving. Oh, by played, far. Kyrie Irving uh, played his first home game. By far. Kyrie, man. <laughs> Handle sick, man. By far the best ball handler, man, ever to me. Yeah, to me. I know Pistol Pete was good and all uh, that, but man, Pistol was before his time. It was way before his time. But Kyrie, man, yeah. Kyrie is a different beast, man. But I'm glad he's back. Yeah, like you know, and um, you know, fuck the fuck ass mandate. You know, total bullshit. It, it, you know, I'm glad I'm glad it was lifted because it was dumb in the first place. 
you allow like you allow other teams, you know, with players who are not vaccinated to come in and play. Right. You know, but Kyrie could matter of fact, matter of fact, Kyrie could buy a goddamn ticket, sit court side <laughs> like he did. <laughs> Buy them ticket, get, sit court side of right. a fucking home game with a team that look the team that's paying him. Yes, but he could not. He could not go in the locker room and suit up and play. No, dumb no. as shit. And he was fined. Well, no, the team was fined because he he went to fucking locker room after the game. That's dumb. It's really dumb. You it's know? really dumb. <clears throat> so uh, I guess we. Mm. Let's go ahead, bro. Where do you want to start? This is there's a lot to start to to unpack tonight, well, and it's just a matter of what, what what direction do you want to go? Well, let's well we look we got a we got a question, you know, and I look for all the all, all the, look on all the platforms. Those women that are in relationships, those women who are married, yes, I need for y'all to stick around, please, because yes. because we have we have a topic that we need to tackle, yeah, you know, and we need look, we need your input. We need your input. Married women, single women, you know, we definitely, women in general, we definitely going to need your input for this you, next topic. You see the girls singing around too, y'all yeah, need, yeah, need to listen. You, you, <laughs> you, 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 you Cardi B fans and you, you busted babies, you busted babies and you whoppers, <laughs> you just, <laughs> we want all y'all to stick around for stick what's around. coming up, stick for around. what's coming up, but we got to. Yeah, but where we going to start today? Where we going to start today? In no other place, no other place, but you know the Oscars. The Oscars, we got to start there. You know, first, first, you know, congratulations to, you know, everybody who won. Everybody who won. You know, it was, it's, you know, whether whether they invite us, you know, to the party or not, whether we have a seat at the table or not, you know, it's still an achievement. Correct. You know, with, Correct. with everybody that works on it from, you know, the set, like, you know, the sound and stage to, yes. you know, wardrobe all the way to the actors and, you know, directors, you know, of all kinds. If you're of color, you know. We appreciate you. Yeah, I mean, Will Packer was the producer of the show, uh, who he uh, produced and directed. Uh, what's the movie? Uh, Think Like a Man. Okay. And a couple of others. Uh -huh. um, and so, uh, and Kevin Hart's Night School. So he directed and produced a couple of those films. So he uh, produced the the Oscars. Yeah. You know, so it was that's a great achievement for uh, African Americans. You know, to be. To have that honor to yeah. produce and direct, you know, the Oscars, you there know, you as, far, as far as many times as we have been saying that there's not enough inclusion, diversity and all that. So for an African-American man to direct and produce, it was a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Which makes where well, we're about to go, uh, you know, even more fucked up. You pretty know, much. That a black guy produced, a black guy produced the Oscars this year. Yes. And I mean, we can skip all the semantics and whatever like that. I mean, everybody is everybody's been fucking talking about it for the last couple of days. Yeah. Will Smith, well, Chris Rock. Let's get into it. Chris Rock hosted the Oscars, and of course, you know, anybody that knows any award show for a comedian or not even a comedian, hell, Peyton Manning when he hosted the uh, you know the Emmys. I mean, not the Emmys. The uh, the fuck is the the goddamn um, sports shit. Um, 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 um. The ESPYS, yeah. When when, uh, when uh, Peyton Manning hosted the ESPYS, he he had jokes about everybody in the crowd. When other people, they like they have writers who write jokes, and so Chris Rock said a joke. You know, which they normally do for the right. people, for the people sitting up front. He 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 made a joke, and you know about Jada Pinkett, and said, "Hey, looking forward to seeing you in uh in GI Jane too." You know. They laughed. Well, she did. She did. But Will chuckled and laughed about it. He did. You know, and then, first SAT word, um, a situation, in, you know, ensued right after that. Of course it did. You know, <laughs> well, Will Smith, this is for, for everybody else who's on social media and who's, you know, y'all social media whores or whatever. You know, you know, we, we understand what the fuck happened. But for right. those who, for those who've been living up on a rock, Will Smith approaches Chris Rock on stage. Mm -hmm. And he slaps him. The shit out of him. Slaps the shit out of him. As y'all can see in, you know, in the fucking picture, you know, for those who are on, you know, the Facebook Live and, you know, and everywhere else. <laughs> but as he walks away, sits down, Chris Rock says, wow. Wow. I could. He, look, he started to say, I could. Wow. Wow. Really, guy? Will Smith. 
then says, yeah, yeah, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Right. Wow, wow, really, guy? Wow. Keep <laughs> my wife's name, name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> I will, guy. I will. Wow. I think we've just witnessed the greatest moment in television. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. Will Smith slapped me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been I've been sitting with this I've been sitting with this for a couple of days trying to see how I was going to unpack this shit. I really was. I really was. It's a lot of ways. It's a lot of ways to fucking unpack it. Um, and we'll get to you know Brother Shabazz's you know take on it here in this, like you know after a while. We get the breakdown in a minute. Yeah, but first off. First off, it was a fucking embarrassment. That's what it was. First off, from the standpoint we just said, Will Packard, who's a black, you know, who's a black African American, mm -hmm. if y'all want to say, you know, Will Packard, an African American. This is his, like, this is his production. This is his production. And for Will Smith to go up on stage and do that, first off, or whatever, be professional. Yeah, be professional. Mm -hmm. Second of all. You've been in this fucking industry for 20 years. Mm. For 20 fucking years. Mm. Probably longer than that. Longer than that. Yeah. Longer than that. Longer than that. Y'all have been joked on before. This ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new. Yeah. Ain't nothing new at all. Yeah. Kegs. Kegs says, I honestly think that they have some deeper beef. Uh, had to be some other stuff over time. But hands down... Will handled that wrong. Was it sexy? Yes, but wrong. It was wrong <laughs> as fuck. And, and for Ke for Kegs, yes, there, like there, like there's a deeper issue, but it's not with Chris Rock and uh, Will Smith. It's it's it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It's look. It's with that. It's with that. Is is with that hairless woman it's, that you it, that it you should. that you call your wife. Yeah, it shouldn't be with Chris Rock. No, and you know, as an actor. In, yeah. uh, in this in this industry in this in this industry um, there was a lot of things about this that um, <laughs> yes Kels she said you should have slept August we're gonna get to that so there's a lot of things <laughs> that um, that's to unpack as an actor in this industry yeah right um, a couple of that is uh -oh. is that's, there it is so a couple of that one first thing is is that this is the the Oscars is noted as the highest yo do request request on midweeks request, yeah, on, request midweeks. on midweeks we get like we patch you in so request on midweeks pass me the the outreach. so the and and plus look look do I need you to wait because I know what angle you about to uh, you about to come in on on this shit pause. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need you to wait until Brother Shabazz uh, comes in. Yes, absolutely. But we're going to get there, Kels. So the Oscars is noted as the most notable award show ever, right, in history. Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, year after year, it is the prize that any actor, that any actor is wanting to get. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. It is, it is, all the other ones, darn, stop calling. All right, so that, <laughs> all the other ones, all right, are... They're not subpar. No. But to win an Oscar yeah. is something different about it. Like Grammys in the music. It, it's, it's winning an Oscar. Yeah. And even though Will snapped, and he did, okay? It wasn't right, but he did snap. But if you're nominated, okay, even if you're not, yeah. if you're at the Oscars, right, there's a certain standard that you got to hold yourself to. Exactly. There's a certain standard that you got to hold yourself to. Exactly. And you just can't bring your personal shit into no. it, regardless of what it is. You can't bring your personal shit into it. But about but even even on the like even on the on the ground level, even on the ground level, they tell you. Oh, I tell people all the time. Even on your nine to five, leave your personal shit at home. Leave that shit at home. Leave it at home. Leave it at home. Leave it at home. You know, you laugh like you lash out, you do whatever. You don't have to get fucked up around here. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There he is. Let's see. Can we patch him in? See, I, look, I told this knucklehead. He is. He uh -huh. No, but he, 
What up, bro? Hold on. I know it's early, but key point. <laughs> same, same show, same people. 2018. Chris Rock made fun of Jada Pinkett Smith on the Oscars. He made fun of like he made fun yeah. of both of them. He made both of them, yeah. Same thing. I know Brother Shabazz was finna get gonna get to it, but brother uh Ahmed Akbar had to step in with <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's it, it, it was all playing. Cause like I was telling people, when you see somebody, no matter what it is, you see somebody approaching you, you gonna have your guard up. You're gonna take a defensive posture. You ain't gonna have your hands behind your back. And he you was gonna stick your feet out. You know, and that, and Will was walking at a sturdy pace. He wasn't walking right. just no. like he was finna come up there and give him no. a hug. And Ke- look, Kez, Kez, we're not blaming, we're not blaming Jada for it at all. No, not at, at, not at any point. Not for not for Will's reaction. Not like not for Will's reaction. But we are blaming we are blaming because they have a lot of issues to unpack within their marriage that that like that happened. First, first leading off, first leading off, how. Basically, she looked at him and how Will steps out on the ledge and basically yes. defends her. But where the fuck was her defense through everything that she drug him through with the whole August situation and everything else? That's that's what that that's where the blame comes because they have not both unpacked every right. fucking thing. Right now, let me and let me say this too. And let me say this too. Black women, do not take this as an attack Please on don't. black women. Please this don't. is not an attack on black women. At We're not attacking all. Black women at all. We are dealing with one woman who we think. Now, mind you, this is totally opinion because we don't know exactly what's kegs. going on in their house. Kegs, patch in over the midweek. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. Log in the midweek, kegs, and then we don't know what's going on in their house. But, but when we're we're talking about the 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 will, the 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 effect that Jada is having on Will. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. The effect that Jada is having on Will. It is not we're not it's not an attack on the black woman as a whole. We're just saying that this dude is acting out because there's something deeper within that relationship. Yeah. Some deeper within that relationship or right there. First That's it. I'm about to say first off, the whole through the whole August situation, everything else like that, when on the red table talk, people are forgetting. She said, I don't love you. Yeah. Yeah. You had this dude yeah. living like, you had this dude living in my house. You fucking him. Mm-hmm. Look, y'all going on trips and everything else in my fucking face. Yeah. And now I got to sit on your show and hear, like, hear you talk about this, this, and the other. And Corey, look, Corey Holcomb says some, says some uh, on his response to it. Jada, whether she, like, whether she looks at it this way or not, or whether she has Will chasing, chasing a dead man's aura. Mm. Mm. There is no hope for that man to win. No, hope. we can put up the baby. <laughs> there is no hope. No hope. There is no, no hope that, for no, that man no, to win. Go to other one. Go There we go. There you go. But look, it's, look. I, I, I disagree. I think it is her fault because you and, and a lot of black women do this when they embarrassed and your man laughing. You look at her like, oh, we gonna do this shit here. Think that shit funny? Then he be like, damn. Now I gotta do something. Yeah, we gotta do something. No, I'm all gonna right. tell you. All right, though. All right, though. We got we got other people that's uh, about to hop in. All right, all right. Like I'm gonna t- like I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not gonna walk up on stage. No. In that setting at all. And slap no some man. Now, will we holler in the back? Okay. That's what I'm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Will we talk in the back? Hey, man, it was a funny joke. My wife didn't like it. You know, blah 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 blah. Because. If you're in the industry, you know how this works. Yeah. You know Chris didn't come up with the joke. No. Nah. He was written. The joke was written uh-huh. for him to say. Mm-hmm. Right? So, you know, hey, man, that was funny. So, either, either you deal with the writer, but you don't deal with the middleman. No. Nah. The middleman, Chris had a job to do. Yeah. And I want to, like, and I want to talk, I want to talk to all the, look, all the women out there who, you know, and I've seen, I've seen some of the fucking posts over that. If you don't. If you know, if my man, if my man don't, you know, don't slap the taste out of, you know, anybody who, who basically says something about me, this, that, this move before we can't date, or this and the other, or you know, I've seen some that says, you know, first date questions. Yeah. How look? How do you feel about the will and blah 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 situation? First off, I don't know who the fuck raised y'all. <laughs> I don't. And 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 obviously, 
obviously society and social media got y'all fucked up all the way in the head right now. But as a gentleman, as a gentleman and as a protector, that is not the fucking way that you protect. Right. That is not the fucking way that you protect black women at, at, at that. Or whatever. Right. The right the right thing to do is what you said. During a commercial break or whatever, pull you to the side. Hey, bro, I don't look. Even though I know the right is what I think, you still have discretion or not to say the fucking to joke or right. not. I, look, I don't appreciate it. My wife is battling this because a lot of people are assuming that Chris Rock knew that she was battling alopecia or whatever. And that's a whole nother topic. 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 But Amanda Seals, Amanda Seals came out saying she said that she knows for sure Chris Rock did not know. Chris Rock did not know. Most of the time, and most of the time in those award shows and those situations like that, the writer doesn't know. I mean, the, the comedian doesn't no. know. He's no. normally given the joke maybe a day or two days before, right? And they, and, and they don't know the real story behind it. So they may not know that that story may be real. They may not know if the joke is going to be real or not. They get they get the joke. They say, hey, this is what we got lined up for you on your segment, on your part. This is what you're going to do. And at that point in time, man, as a performer, he got to go perform. Now, you need to look now. Now, we'll need to look at who the fuck he fucked over in that goddamn writing room. He probably, <laughs> he probably, kicks, he probably kicks somebody off Fresh Prince. He probably, <laughs> look, 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 hey, hey, I wrote this joke on Hitch. <laughs> Will said no. Will said no. I got you. I got you. Got that. Uh, Kegs, you in there yet? Kegs is in. All right. Yeah, I'm in there. What's going on? I'm in there. Can you hear me? Yes. Watch series. Best show. I appreciate you. Whoever you. that is. Yeah, strap Preezy. Who's that? <laughs> strap Strap Preezy or Strap Reezy? Yeah. Strap Preezy? I don't know which one to say, but thank you. Yeah. Watch series. Best show out. For sure. I want y'all to know y'all call me. Let me call in because I have so much to say. Yeah, and, first, I'm about to say, and once and once again, once again, case we're not we're not blaming Jada for that instance Listen, or whatever like that. I feel like you guys aren't blaming her, but all I have seen over and over again is my friend said this grown ass man walks up to another grown ass man, slaps him in front of a white crowd. Yep. Yes. On his own accord. But yes. Yet they want to keep talking about. Jada being the issue. And it's just like, listen, a lot of us, I think a lot of people fail to realize that a lot of us aren't married. That's number one. Uh huh. There you go. There's a lot of people having a lot to say about a marriage who, one, can't get a husband nor a wife. They don't know how to work through traumas, triggers, anything like that. So they have all the when did you get your degree on giving out advice? <laughs> hey, that's facts. I don't understand. That's number one. True. And number two, yes, I don't think that, I think that we need to keep this focus on Will. Because to me, Will is going through some internal things. He is. A lot. That made him slap, lash out. Uh-huh. That might reference from, that might not even be referencing from his marriage. It might be referencing from something else that he's going through that we don't know about. Because if True. you look at yeah. all of his acceptance speeches, if we want to really do the work and think about what led up to this, and he has been winning awards before this for this role. And in each one of them, he keeps talking about this new path that he's going on. Mm. On oh, Some things have come to light for him. Or how he has ah, been on this role of protecting women and doing all these things on and off, on and off. Because, and this was before the slaps. This was before any of that. Right. This was like weeks ago. And you got to understand, a lot of people have been coming for his child, too. Like, it's not just Jada. Like, a lot of people have had several jokes about his his daughter. And, you know, because, like, she came out and said that she wanted to be, like, in with multiple people and, like, a, mm -hmm. like her sexuality. Look, and stuff. Look. So I think a lot of people keep blaming Jada, but y'all got to understand this man is mad all front because y'all coming his son for wearing skirts. He's right. coming his daughter for wanting to sleep around. He's right. coming his wife for a situation that we don't have any, any no knowledge about besides the fact that a man went on TV or on Instagram August went on Instagram <laughs> and hurt feelings and gave his whole 
and for me, I can't remember if I can say this, but he was the one acting like the bitch. So because she's in, they are both in entertainment, yes, she had to have a rebuttal and say this is what fucking happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? So let's start with the reason all this August thing came out was because of a man. It was not because of Jake. You, you know, she wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't like, hey, y'all, just so y'all know, I'm out here with this boo who ain't in my house. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, well, well, I'm. Only came out because August well, was a man. Well, not Kex. Was not. I Kex. Kex. No. The real, like, tru- truthfully, truthfully, it was already out because they were, they were openly, openly on red carpets. They were openly taking right. vacations together. Yeah. It was already out. The, to, right. the, to those who pay attention, it was already out. But right. for everybody else on social media, obviously, thing, things have a cycle and they pick up, you know, a lot later. But but that but that's right. the whole but the whole but the whole thing to me is the whole thing to me is Will has been in this industry and like for for over 20, 20 plus years plus true he was in the music industry right you know like you know how these things go whether and, 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 and we if we want to talk about like yes he may he may have reached a breaking point then okay but there's still like but there's still a lot to unpack or whatever and there's a way like a way to handle it now. Things that you just said, like I said, brothers and bads, we'll get into it later because you said <laughs> his acceptance speeches, reaching new levels and things coming to light and not, yeah, they're, they're, those are a lot of trigger words that obviously some of us already know what that means yeah. or whatever. But, <clears throat> God, I mean, you, you want to go? No, you, you, it's, it's not the fact that he's, he's dealing with more than just, <laughs> he's dealing with more than just, uh, than than just what we saw yeah a few a few nights ago this is way more than will smith getting up there and smacking the mess out of chris rod this is way more than that mm-hmm. um and and kegs make a great point about regardless of who will smith is mm-hmm. the celebrity the, the 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 star whatever he is still a man yeah that has a wife uh-huh. and children yeah. That he has to protect, right? That he has to protect in as far as he can, because of them being in the the light of everything, right? Being mm-hmm. in the visions of everybody, social media and all that, and especially the way that social media has gone now and become, right? Where now everybody has an opinion. Oh my God! Or everybody has something to say everybody, about. Everybody got a red table talk. Everybody got a red table talk about something. Whereas none of us, none of us, none of us, really knows what's going on with that family. No, they don't. And I'm. A, we don't. We do not. And I look, and I. I uh, and I feel, and I feel like, and you know this too, uh, Winston. You married. Yes. You know, you know and, and this is my thing. You don't know what's going on with their marriage. They might have been in a point where they both were like, "We are separated, mm-hmm. and you get to do what you want to do." And yeah. Jada was with her dude, and she was probably fully separated. They had a, they are very, what I, what I do like is they're very grown up in their decisions with their marriage, and mm-hmm. a lot of people can't do that. Yeah, they, yeah, they can't do that. They said, hey, you know what? I, we are separated. You do your thing. I'm gonna do mine. And then hers was more public, and because she was a woman, it got more. I would say attention. Right. For me, I feel like Will has been doing his own thing. Oh, he has. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, for sure. Has been out here in the street. With a plethora. We're going to bypass his, his actions and focus on Jason. Well, that's I, what I don't like. Well, I think, I think it's... I, I think they, it's both were, they both were doing their own thing. They had an understanding between them. And that ain't none of our business. Well, I think I think it's more so... I think that's more so the pub, like the, the publicized you know, side of it. I think it's more so because because we saw we saw them on vacation. We saw them on the red right. carpet. This and the other. We will. Will like will we never saw. We it. never saw. It kept it like so. It, it could have been speculation. Yeah, but we never saw it. And it's like I got and I got word. I got word that I got word that yeah. I got I got word that they like that they did have an open relationship or whatever like that they have a bedroom in their house. Allegedly, I'm gonna say that. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly, <laughs> that they have a bedroom in their house, you know, specifically for that, and they had rules like set in yeah. place. Now everything else, 
whatever, you know, out, like outside of it. But, you know, I'm just going to say this, you know, um, before we let you go, Kegs. All these women out here who are saying, like, that they men, they men need to do this, need to do that, or whatever the case may be, <laughs> y'all going to get somebody fucked up. Be because Hollywood, Hollywood is not real life. It's not real life. It is not. It's not. Social media is it's not, not real life. life. It's not. It's not real life. You know, with social media, we know that everybody's, I'm going to let you rock, kid. And then with social media, everybody is showing their highlight. Yeah. Right? Everybody's showing their highlight. Everybody is showing the good parts. Everybody's showing the great parts of what's going on, right? Because right after the Oscars, they took this picture. It was all of them. Will holding the Oscar, and it was looking like everything is fine. Fuck that. Everything is not fine. Not. Everything is not fine. We I still look. have things we got to deal with once we leave here. I'm like, look, I'm like my uncle. I'm like my uncle Shannon. Uncle, uh, Shay Sharp. Shay Sharp. God damn it. No, nah, look, hey, that look, that, that, uh, that look, that beside you, whatever the fuck jacket I had on is coming off. We're going at it. He said, yeah. then. He said, then after that. I'm sitting on site. Every time I see you, it's on site, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Ken? Hey, so just before I go, and I feel like all my hey, friends that have joined. We appreciate it. Hey, yeah. all of Keg's friends <laughs> that have jumped on top. <laughs> May we buy y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But what I'm saying before I get off is that I feel like y'all be saying y'all didn't see Will or whatever, yada, yada, yada. But I feel like we did see Will, but we weren't paying attention. If you go back to Will and when he did all those moves, with your, uh, Charlize Theron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, Go back to that. Because we, they were clearly, clearly together. I don't know if y'all didn't realize that they're, they're clearly let me, they were together. But what Red we, carpet, all that kind of stuff. Like we, we say we didn't see it because we weren't looking for it. You know what I mean? Well, we, they were clearly together. Well, we say, when we say... They were Um, Hancock. Yeah. Hancock. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they, the red carpets, all that stuff, if you just go back, Will has been flaunting women in front of us for a very long time. Here's the difference. But Here, we just hasn't, we haven't been looking for it. Here, here's, here. here's the difference. Here's the difference. Obviously, obviously, you hide, you hide things in plain sight. So, if we're on the same movie together... Yes, we got to be on the red carpet together. We got to do interviews together. We got to right. do all this stuff. No, like the masses is really not going to key in on that. Ain't a now goddamn movie August been in. <laughs> <laughs> when the last track we done got from but August? Wait, 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 uh, entanglement. Wait, entanglement. Not be with him? The last track we got from 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 uh, uh, August was Entanglement. We ain't got we ain't heard nothing from that little boy since. Oh, we are. Like, a lot of people aren't being fair when it comes to it. Like, we don't know what's happening in their marriage. We don't know mm -hmm. the kind of arrangement that they had. But everybody is putting the weight on this man's shoulder it, because of Jada. And it's like, he has No, that's what we said. That's what we said. That's what we said. <laughs> yes. It's not Jada. Like, like but, they made fun of his daughter for I don't know how long. Like, I don't. I thought she was going to quit the red face talk. <laughs> But, like, Man. but but we I'm about to say, but we we you know not to cut you off, kid, but we like we understand we understand like that you know for like for people that like, for people that get into any industry or whatever, there's things that you know you have to you have to like you have to you know be ready for, and that's one of the things like you're in the public like your whole fucking life, every aspect of it, the people that are around you, family members, friends, everybody, is you know it, it, I hate to say it, but you know but a fair game. You know, in, in, in that aspect, and you know, all we're saying is, all we're saying is, you know, for him to lash out like that, there's a lot of things, and it's, I mean, it's, it's been, it's been boiling to a point, you know, for a few years now. There's a lot of things that they need to, yeah, you know, because I feel like, I feel like if, if, if they were on one accord on a lot of things, he wouldn't have lashed out like that. In and, retrospect and to that's her. That's what I want to say too. I want to say too that maybe. Jada is in a space, because Jada is really in a space of, of healing and moving forward and saying over and over again she's in the best spot of her life. 
maybe she was ready for the red table talk and he was not. Mm. She was ready for this show to put their lives out there. She was ready to talk about it. And maybe he was not. Maybe he maybe he could you know what I'm saying? They didn't have red table talk before this, so it was just all speculation. Look. You know? I don't think any man would be ready to take that to the public. No. I don't think any man would be ready to take that to the public and talk about that. I think that has now messed him up more than, oh, okay, and now see if there's something maybe that they need to get on one accord, because he's a man, he was probably like, yeah, I'm ready for this, do your show, baby, do this, you know, whatever, whatever. And he, I don't think he was ready. I don't think, I don't think that, because I feel like if it hasn't been the red, if the red, red table talk was not out, and that show wasn't about, he wouldn't slap that man down. There's a you're right. There's a difference. There's a difference between. There's always a difference between speculation and reality. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like you can speculate. It's you can speculate all. Level. You can speculate all you want to or whatever like that. But now that we do the red table talk, or is you know we're talking about this any other, yeah. then everybody knows that I'm not the king of my house. Like like I like like I portray or whatever yeah. like that. That yeah. there's like that there's somebody yeah. else that was infidelity. This and the third. She came out and said, "I don't love you." Or whatever yeah. that is like she came out and said that you fucked me like a little kid or whatever whatever she says but look 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 what, what's the fucking word <laughs> allegedly 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 you know so he was ready he was not and that's on him because he he's got it like that's like you sign up that gym membership and you're like yeah i'm about to rock out you know like i'm, I'm signing up for crossfit and then you get in the middle of that workout and you're like and they lit the shit that you ain't never done before. Yeah, you just yeah. you just walking around the gym. Yeah, with a little water bottle. Heck yeah. Right, that's real with red table talk. He thought he was ready. He was like, this is good for the family. Yeah, let's get everybody involved. Yada yada yada. Then all of a sudden, the real table talk became really, really real. But you know, and I don't think he was. Here's my one problem with the red table talk. All right. And then we got we gonna move we gotta move to the next segment. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> this is my 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 one problem with the table talk, the red table talk. Every fucking thing doesn't have to come to that goddamn red table. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Every fucking thing does not have to come to that red table. JD, you put red right? sauce on noodles last night. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, I was fine but isn't with them. The good part about it though. No. For who? For who? For her rating. It's the good part for those viewers. But yet they got to deal with that shit on their own. Like I think something like that should have been dealt with behind the behind closed doors with just them, them three, maybe a counselor, somebody else. But if you want viewers, me. use somebody else's life. Don't use your fucking own. So tell me if you had so you you got me vibe. Y'all got me vibe, right? Mm-hmm. Say Cobain is over there married. We're not gonna say you, but let's say say he is married. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And all social media is blowing up about it. Off the fucking Nobody table. Wants to talk about it on Big Week Five. It ain't happening. We would not. It ain't happening. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Our personal, our personal, wouldn't our, do it. Our personal lives or our personal lives. Wouldn't do it. I don't care how many people would try to 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 pay us to do it or or anything like that. There's no reason for making it for just for the example's sake. There's no reason in us bringing his personal life here to make it worse because at the end of the show, at the end of the show, I go home to my house, he go home to his. He has to deal with that by himself in his own home. He has to deal with that. Why are you on reality TV though? Because isn't Red Table Talk a reality show? I thought it was just a talk. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was just I thought it was just a, a talk show. I thought it was just a talk show. Now, yes, I feel that he would give a give a statement. So, Jazz asked Cobain, uh, "You would give a statement, statement to address the rumors." My statement would be, my statement would be. I know that. Look, I know that. I know that the you know the airwaves are buzzing this and the other. PSA: Mind your fucking business at page. End of story. And leave it at that. I thought. See, I didn't think it was a reality show. I thought it was a a talk show. Yeah. I thought it was a different style of talk show. They mm-hmm. have talked about so many real things on their show. Like the mama has talked about her divorces and and like um, just everything about their lives. So mm-hmm. to run away from this topic, I feel like 
it wouldn't have been fair. They had to say something. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel you. They had to say something had to be said. As a man, I get to say something or whatever, but I feel like Jada is at a space. He's three steps ahead ahead of Will Will and her heels. That's what I think. No, I think... I just think Jada don't give a fuck. She All right. We go. All right, Kate. All right, Kate. We, we, appreciate, we appreciate you, Kate. All right, Kate. I don't know how to get out of this thing, but y'all figure that out. You hit your ex, Kate. Hit your, hit your ex, Kate. There you go, Kate. All right. Now, now one, one last aspect. One last aspect of this before we move on to the midweek minute. What up? <laughs> you know, we go. We're going to start putting time limits on y'all. Time limits on y'all. They got one minute. They got one minute, damn it. <laughs> no, but uh, so. There's this other aspect, in, and and Keg, and Keg's mentioned it, uh, what in his speeches or whatever like that. Certain cute words, certain words, whatever like that. Um, there's been a lot. There's been a lot of breaking down of uh, film and video and everything else here recently, and um, a lot of people are coming out and saying that the slap was the slap was well, well the whole the whole thing was staged. That it was fake. <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> from from you know my uh, Doe Doe was on earlier and talked about the fact that uh, this is street look, this is street shit, street code. If a motherfucker approach you, what about that? First off, I'm not gonna have my goddamn hands behind my back the whole entire time. Right. I'm not gonna do that. Second of all, I'm not gonna stick my cheek out. <laughs> That's two. Third of all, I'm gonna score it up. I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. I just got done talking about his wife. Boy, that I'm gonna square up. That's that's the whole fucking deal. But then you said that you know you watched video, you you saw something else. So there was a there was a picture that was floating around on um, on Twitter. Of course, everybody has these conspiracy theories or whatever. But there was a picture that was floating around on Twitter, and it was a picture of Chris Rock, and it was a close up, and it looks as if where Will slaps him, right, mm-hmm. or is going to slap him. There's a pad. So I guess it was he slapped him on this side. So there was a a brown pad. That was the same color as Chris Rock's complexion, and it was sitting right about right here. Okay, so if you go back, and they zoomed in on the picture. Now yeah. you can't really see it. Uh-huh. Um, you can't really see it in the video, but in the picture, somebody took a picture, then they posted it, and it looks like you know he got him right here. And if you look at how Will slapped him, yeah, that's where it connects. It connects right there. Who the fuck on, slapped on? Like he slapped who him the, high. Who the fuck slapped you down? down? Yeah, he slapped him down and kept the hand open. It was. And and y'all, God, it was we we're talking about two actors, two trained, seasoned, very, very, very trained, two very trained, seasoned actors. Here. There's a there's a video of Will Smith teaching a little kid how to slap in that same fucking motion that he slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. Now, what I want y'all to pay attention to, Keg said in his in his acceptance speeches, whatever he said that he's crying in all of them, and he's saying there are new levels. Mm-hmm. That I'm approaching or that like, that I'm going to, that basically and look, he said he he said keywords like in light of and all this other stuff. He when he's leaving the stage, his hand position is inside of his jacket. It's mm-hmm. another another symbol for all you conspiracy theories out uh, theorists out there. That's another that's another symbol, right there, or whatever. You can't say, listen, that investigation from the Oscars is not staged. Yeah, it just came out saying he's about to be banned. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, uh, now that like that now, <laughs> I was gonna get, I, I was gonna get to that as well. That the, the 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 academy said that they got up to escort him out, to basically kick him out. But yeah. Will, but Will refused. He refused to leave. Golly, see, I didn't know that part. Yeah, he I refused didn't know to leave. Part. I didn't know that part. You know, he had refused to leave. I didn't know that. Yeah. But, you know, <clears throat> here we go. Let's get on to the fucking meal we minute. Yeah, man, we? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're not done with Will and Chato, because trust me, we we uh, won't go back. You know, just like, look, just like we did, or well, as we continue to do, as, look, as the ye, as the yay turns, just like as we could, as I continue to do as the yay turns, yeah. you know, the title of the show today, and we're going we're gonna to keep this on going, with it, when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> when there's a will, there's a way. So we're gonna keep y'all we're gonna keep y'all updated on everything that we know or we find out or whatever. So I'm really gonna have to keep this goddamn bit we minute to a goddamn minute. Alright, so um Heroes come in all shapes, forms, sizes, and colors. 
That's how I'm gonna start this shit. You know? And often, often, you know, they say if you do good, you know, in the world, it will be reciprocated back to you. Be reciprocated. And a good look in the church, they say, you know, you, you, you tithe, but it'll come back tenfold. <laughs> well, I gave ten, so they mean it'd be like a hundred. What are we doing? <laughs> Where my hundred? Where my hundred? Where my hundred at? No, okay, so Robin Hood, you know, steals from the rich, gives to the poor, mm -hmm. you know? And these four gentlemen in Florida are no different. <laughs> Alright? Now, everybody knows what the fuck has been going on with these goddamn atrocious. There's a toss word for you. Right. These that I forgot the goddamn bell in the day. So these yeah, goddamn so. like so these atrocious gas prices that's been going on. And I look I would have test personally or whatever that it costs a hundred dollars to fill my goddamn tank up. Yep. Thank, yep. thank God for company cars. Alright, so <laughs> <laughs> But these four guys these four guys, are un look, even though they're in jail and they're arrested, they're unsung heroes to me. Four Florida men were busted for installing tampering devices on gas pumps, allowing the prices to drop to pennies. You know, they say all heroes don't wear capes. Hey, all I heroes do not wear capes. You no, know what listen, I'm saying? Listen. All heroes do not wear capes. And these young men... I think deserve a medal of honor oh, look, at look. this point. Hey, look, they deserve more than a medal of honor, goddamn it. They, <laughs> <laughs> look, they deserve a street named after them, a gas, look, a gas station named after them. A gas something. station. Now, the report says, according to the Florida Department of Agriculture and Customer Services, <laughs> they installed a device called a, a, a pulsator. A pulsator. A pulsator. Inside gas, look, inside gas station pumps. It said the device reg uh, regulates fuel prices and flow, hmm. meaning that they send the gas, like they send the price per gallon plummeting when operated, like when operated correctly, allowing the uh, allowing the fathers to fill up their tanks nearly for free, <laughs> and even resell gas they stole. The scheme, the, like the scheme was carried out. At, okay, to to Circle K. That had that clearly that ain't in Texas. That is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you clearing out a Circle K. If you, uh -oh. if you cleared out a Circle K, you sure ain't clearing out no quick no QT. Now if it was at a QT or a race track, race. That's us. <laughs> now you're gonna be worried. That's us. That's us. Now you're gonna be worried. All right, but okay, so here's like here's here's the gist. Here's the gist of it. They said this pulsator basically changed the gas prices while keeping the gallons the same. So like so so the fuck oh, that's is, genius. So the system can't fucking read it. That's genius. <laughs> that's genius. And see, and the problem I have with this is we sitting here locking these young men up, and they out here doing God's work. Mm. Hey, they out here doing God's work, and we out here locking these young men up. These gentlemen, these crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> these crusaders. Hey, hey, y'all talk. Look, y'all talk about the nurses guild or whatever in church. Y'all let these saints out of jail. Let these saints out. Let of jail. these saints out. They out here doing the work of the Lord. Let Lil S say walk. <laughs> they should have brought it to Dallas. <laughs> he should have. Y'all y'all know what we would have done if so let's say that you let's say my tank is to fill up. My to fill up my tank is about eighty five dollars, right? It's eighty five dollars to fill up my tank. Okay. So let's say them gentlemen what took my price down to a whopping fifteen dollars. I would have kicked one of them twenty dollars extra twenty dollars. Listen, bro, bro, I'm giving gas showers, bro. Like come on me. Hey, you want this unleaded or you, you want, want this twenty? <laughs> I got 93 over here. Who on 93? Hey, hey, hey. Get that 87. Get that 87. Get that. <laughs> so, look, you know, be, you know, be one motherfucker in the crowd like, hey, you got some diesel, homie? Yeah. <laughs> and, he just, and one of them just get mad. What do you say, diesel fuel? What? <laughs> Circle K. No diesel fuel. Fuck your tractor, homie. You want some diesel fuel? <laughs> you pulled up an 18-wheeler, man. Get them. Stops in 93. <laughs> Only 87, 91, 93. Stops in 93. <laughs> Fuck you, homie. <laughs> listen, listen. We do not want them out there. God damn it. No, we love y'all. This is this. <laughs> we totally love y'all. We love y'all. We love everybody. We just gonna blame it on. Emotional <laughs> I got a new toy, y'all. I got a new toy. Emotional. <laughs> I love it. We got a new toy. Oh, my God. But no, but no seriously. 
Seriously, I look. What a round of applause! That please for them. For please them. for these four guys. Give them those guys a round of applause, please. Hold on, because unlike unlike the gas station in um, in Frisco, Texas, I'm not gonna say which one. Who put the false uh, card reader? Over his oh, goddamn yeah. readers to take like to take people's information. What about that? Yeah. These guys are using their criminal activity for good. For good. They're actually using it for good. <laughs> I'm saying they're using it for good. Now, now that y'all in jail, if y'all can use that criminal activity to get bring everybody toll tag. <laughs> That's what the next. Hey, hey, y'all, why y'all at it? Hey, y'all look, look, y'all look. Go ahead and bring everybody toll balance down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why y'all at it, man. Can y'all figure out that everybody, this is not for me or my brother Cole, but we, been, we had scholarships for, but for everybody. Can y'all figure out how to take them student loans away? Hey, hey. Take them student loans away, fellas. Hey. All right? Not just for us. For everybody. For everybody. We're doing this for everybody. All right? If y'all figure out how to get gallons of gas at the pennies, I'm sure y'all can figure out yes. how to get. Hey. Take care of fat, little fast food, whatever the fuck. The, fa- the fast food. Take care of it all. Shit. Take care. Take care of all that shit. Man. Take care of it. Take care of it all. <laughs> oh my god. While you at it, just write everybody a credit score of seven twenty. Hey. <laughs> yeah, look, everybody, give 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 yourselves eight hundred. Give yourself. Y'all have. Y'all can have eight hundred. Cause it look. Cause it look like y'all don't have credit at all. Right? Look like y'all. Y'all pay cash for everything. <laughs> look, I don't. I don't want to be the group member that get an A and didn't do much of the work, so you can give me just a 17. <laughs> I'll be fine with a 17 as credit score. Look, you don't have hey, to give me the whole exactly. 800. Look, you know what, man? Just look, 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 look. Just X off all my hard in- inquiries. Hard in- <laughs> <laughs> Just take my hard inquiries take, off. That's all I need you to do. Off. Just take them off, dog. You know, That's and all that, I need. And that one der- derogatory remark that I got, just take that shit off. Can you just take it off? And I know I got something that's been on there longer than seven years. Can that you? Have, That'll boost, that'll boost my experience up. That's <laughs> it. That's it. You know? And I'm not asking for much. Y'all keep the 800 scores. I just want the 710. <laughs> hey, I got enough credit cards, goddammit. I just, that's it. I just want the 17. Because really, guys, I just want the low interest rate. That's it. That's it. I that's just it. want the low interest rate, fellas. That's, that's it. it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Shit. Emotional damage. <laughs> God damn. What's up, Maya? Hi, man. Look, look, All right. Let's go ahead and get into the lyric lounge. Oh, we finna get into the lyric oh, lounge. Hell. Yeah, you better be ready for this. All right, look, I'm, look, I'm ready with some fun, look, with some with some bit, look, with some Boy, back that shit up. I hope you're ready. All right, so for all of the new people that are here that have now just jumped on and learning what the lyric lounge is, this is where I, myself, Draper Winston, I get to say any sort of lyric or anything like that. And I say it in some sort of voice, right? Some sort of theatrical voice. We've had uh, Bernie Mac. We've had uh, Steve Harvey. We've had Kamala Jones. We've had all you can think of, a lot. Kamala Jones? Kamala Harris. (laughs) Why why I call that baby Kamala Jones? Because her last name should be Jones. It should be Jones. Jones and Jackson. We had Harris, right? Or or Johnson or something, Mm -hmm. right? And... uh, so, so glad my husband and I are not famous. <laughs> Listen, give me, give me the money, not the fame. Got, All right. I got a song coming out this spring <laughs> for that shit. Let's go. Oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> and so, and then um, my brother Cobain does not know whatever song At I'm all. to pick. Oh, huh. Right? And then he hits, he gets to come back and then give his 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 interpretation. But he has to give it in bars. Bang, bang, bang. He, he, he has to give go. it in bars. Let's okay. Go. And so, without further ado, right? Without further ado, we are now going to bring you Lyric Lounge. And of course, with all that has been going on over the past couple of days, it's only right that this week's Lyric Lounge comes to you from none other than the great. Mr. Will Smith himself. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Will oh, Smith shit. himself. Now. Emotional <laughs> By God. Mr. Will Smith himself. Now, if you know the lyrics to these songs, to this song, oh, shit. you are more than welcome to rap along. All right? Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> Ah, I, I, I gotta 
decide <laughs> to do this song, all right? I got to decide. Ah, yeah. Well, I'm a gat toting pistol holding. <laughs> ah, yeah. And, <laughs> nigga on your damn street. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stomping, jumping, and bumping. And we knock off in this damn thing. <laughs> throwing them bows. <laughs> ah, throwing them bows. Oh, my God. <laughs> up at these holes. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't some esoteric, essential knuck if you buck here. They screaming and they bleeding from their nose. <laughs> oh, shit. But we start to swing Ah, making these <laughs> niggas hit the blow. <laughs> I'm good. Ain't no game. Ah, ain't no. Ah. Oh, shit. Ain't no game off in this thing. Bruh. <laughs> but <laughs> we deep off in your party. Ah, we deep off in your party. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Will Smith walks on stage and I get the party started. Ah. And guess what? All my niggas, we go the hardest. <laughs> this isn't like some thing you gotta decide to slap a bitch. <laughs> and so we know. <laughs> so if a nigga comes and run his mouth. Oh shit. Just like a hoe. <laughs> I walk on stage and I punch him dead in his nose. Oh my god. And stomp his ass to the flow. Oh shit. Cause I'm knocking, ah, and I'm bucking. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm ready to fight. <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, any hater, ah, any hater out there. You better think twice. Oh my God. You gotta decide to knuck if you buck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I, I decided oh, in that God. moment <laughs> to knuck because I was buck. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> Yo, I got, I got to another one, bro. I got to, I got to another one. Got to, cause I'm, I'm about to get real disrespectful. Oh man. Oh, oh my God. man. Hi, right, y'all. <laughs> Shit. Y'all know when y'all hear that. Bang, bang, bang. You already know what time it is. Hi. <laughs> right. Oh wait. Oh. Man. <clears throat> I said, what my, look, what my shit is? Sorry, I got my other bag, but I ain't, ain't using nobody to use that you gotta shit. Gotta have it. All right. I said, my wife fucked Tupac. <laughs> so you know I had to go fed. <laughs> Start already. I had my pimp hand ready. <laughs> All I needed was to shake my dread. <laughs> you may call it a joke. But I think that nigga knuck. Mm. Put that shit right across his face. <laughs> Maybe it cost me a couple bucks. <laughs> Take that shit. There you go. <laughs> Man. But that's what the fuck I get for messing with bald head scallywags. <laughs> Cause we get deep up in this party. <laughs> ah, ah, my niggas get it started. Oh man, I no. decide to get started. <clears throat> she had on some little pumps. <laughs> oh man, so you know we get it started. <laughs> See, I'm from the south, and there's some things that just don't fly. Mm. <laughs> you know, you can close one or two. But I like to look through my third eye. Mm. See, when we take it to the streets, mm. and you slap me hand open, mm. please know it's up. Fuck being stuck. Hoo -hoo. 
because this beef is a little bit woven. You can knit that shit and use your yarn if you want. Mm. But guaranteed it's on site. Bars. Please believe Hancock would have got his ass kicked if he slapped me that night. <laughs> <laughs> Where my shit at? Bang, <laughs> bang, bang. Not Hancock. Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Hitch would have been made a bitch. Hey, <laughs> look, so you keep that shit hitched. What up, B Hip? So you keep that shit hitched, you know, as he parade like the Fresh Prince. Mm. Mm. Just know that it had come up again. He'll be slapping boy in the bench. <laughs> yeah, that. Denzel calmed his ass down. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess right from the soul, respect your elders. Oh. <laughs> man, man, man. Chris. Chris. I hope you pay attention to everything your publishers tell you. Mm. Because the word is, your prices are soaring mm. as your tours are selling out. Ooh. I'm not going to say on grand stage that you really did. That ain't written. That ain't written. That ain't written. I'm going to say that once again. Cause Chris, I hope you're ready. Because the word is, your soul, your shows are really selling out. Mm. Rightfully so. Because on the grand stage, you were the minstrel. <laughs> we can say you were selling out. <sighs> oh my God. Just look at it from this standpoint. Two men on a white stage. Mm. Parading, get along, prancing. Mm. The book is known. All you gotta do is read the page. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I know that went over a lot of y'all heads. <laughs> but you can catch that tomorrow. <laughs> Just know, I read all my shit. <laughs> Ain't a goddamn thing over here, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, I would say, I would say, you know, something rhymes and something rhymes and the next segment is what the fuck. <clears throat> We've got a little treat for y'all, you know? So I turn over to Winston. Let's see what's up. There it is. <laughs> I just think a rhyme rolled right into the, into the next segment. This boy flowed into the next, into the next segment. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all, so with all of <laughs> With all of everything that's been going on, right, everything that's been happening that's been going on with uh, these last few days, right, I jumped on Twitter and I called, I immediately called my brother and said, man, we got to, I want to twist up the, the the WTF moment and just twist it up a little bit, all right? And so now we're going to introduce what's called Twitter Thoughts. Let's you know, right? go. It's called Twitter Thoughts, okay? And so, of course, the, the first incident of Twitter Thoughts is going to be the Will and uh, Chris Rock saga. And with the Twitter thoughts is I go and I find on Twitter with maybe some of the funniest tweets yeah. or memes. Oh, shit. <laughs> tweets or memes that may have hit the Twitter scene. Because, of course, everything hits the Twitter scene first. And so then everything else catches up. But, man, there was one thing I tell you about when something, something grand happens. Mm -hmm. The Twitter family comes together. Oh, my God. The Twitter family comes black, together. Black Twitter is what we what we like to call it. All black Twitter comes together. And it is hilarious. All right? It is hilarious. So I'm going to turn the midweek so that y'all can see it. So you can see it as well, too. All right? Let me take this out here. There you go. Make sure they see it. I don't know if they can see it. Can they see it? Let me back up a little bit. No, they, they can see it. They can see it. All right. See it. All right. So here we go. Facebook family. Here we go. So, of course, today's, yeah, see y today's topic is Will and Chris Rock, and these were some, just, and there were so many of them, but these were some of the first, some of the, the Twitters, the tweets that I saw, and memes. Here's the first one, right? Oh yeah, that's shit. Cole dropped this one, okay, that's so shit. I had to add this one to the yes. watch, right? So it says, <laughs> Jada, G.I. Jane, Will, that's hilarious. Jada, no it's not. <laughs> Side eye, you want me to cheat again? <laughs> Bitch, I'm slapping you. <laughs> Did I do it right, Jada? Don't leave me. <laughs> Yo. Everything wrong with that one. Every, look, but but that shit is 
Oh my god, I love how they turn the memes into fucking real life situations and shit. <laughs> but how they find the phases and all that stuff like that, man. It was hilarious. I loved it. I loved that one. Okay. So this is the next one that I found. This is the next one that I found. All right. If Chris Rock just said, if that's how mad he gets in March, imagine how pissed he is in August. <laughs> he probably could have won that round. <laughs> Oh my God! There's everything wrong with that one. That one came from Iman Adan. All right. So of course, when I find the tweets, I'm gonna make sure that I shout the people out, all right? Because we don't take credit for anything, but this is for so that, that everybody can laugh. All right. The next one I found. All right. <laughs> Comes from Dave XG. Will Smith, after laughing at Chris Rock's joke about Jada, and then seeing that she wasn't finding it funny. And it's a picture of Tupac. <laughs> oh my God. I have failed you. And I must make this right by you. <laughs> y'all, look, y'all, look, y'all think this, look, y'all think this shit is a fucking, y'all think this shit is a fucking game. This, look, he probably really is over there battling, <laughs> battling the fact that everybody, everybody says that nigga, you would never live up. You will never. Never live up. Never live up. To I like your picture is. I like your picture is. Look, every time, look, every time, this bitch, look, here's a, here's a meme or some shit that y'all can go out and do over that or video. Every time he fuck up in the house, Jada, look, Jada got that shit like a goddamn, uh, alert on her phone. Tupac just saying, that's why I fucked your bitch. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> that's why I fucked your kid money. <laughs> First off, fuck you. You're basically you claim. You claim. West side. <laughs> you claim to be a player, but, but I fucked your wife. <laughs> you slap him back. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta say, look, I gotta do this shit one more fucking time, bro. Emotional oh. damage. There's everything wrong with that one. Oh, that my is hilarious. God. That is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> and so the last one. All right. The last one I found. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. I wish I would have got the other one, bruh. This one goes from Straw Hat Mac. He says, Will Smith's marriage open to everything except Trump. <laughs> but it's the picture of yes, future. The picture of fucking future that kills the shit. And obviously, you know, like there's a meme that oh, they do. Oh man. There's a meme that they do with oh. the whole like there's a meme that they do with the whole uh, you know, oh. paragraph. Oh, yes. Texting to the woman yeah. or whatever. I look. I wish. Look. I wish I would have grabbed. I wish I would have grabbed that one. But the, but the one I, I should have sent. The one that killed me. The one that killed me or whatever is everybody. Ed, look. Everybody knows the age old song. Whenever you at a uh, at a uh, at a sporting event where they. <laughs> I told Tiffany did. And the picture said, "We will, we will rock you." <laughs> But it had, but hold on. So it had, what? It, what was it? It had two. Look, it had two. It had two slaps. Uh huh. Had two slaps of women. Then it had a picture of Will. No, is it? it look, it said we will. It said we, and it had a picture of Will. Had a picture of Chris. Picture of Will. <laughs> <laughs> it had rock you. Amber, what's good? Oh shit. Yo, like. I, oh. I promise you, like, and it, the thing that kills me is how fast these motherfuckers get that shit up. Man, they get it up so fast, man. Pause. I'm gonna leave that for real. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I swear to God, that's God not damn. started talking about something. I know, I know. Look, they, look, he oh. he slapped him, and like two seconds later, it was memes already. It was memes, memes up. They were up fast when he I, slapped him, and the memes were up. I'm about to say, hell, is y'all fucking TV on a look on an hour delay? Like <laughs> everybody else. <laughs> Y'all already got that shit? Because them memes be up and rolling, boy. But oh yeah, so God. that's that's the new segment for for now. As as much as I'm gonna try to find whatever current is going uh, on and find the funniest memes or whatever's happening, sometimes it may just be a story that's popping. Bro. But the memes and the comments be funny. So, so we gotta share it with the world. I'm just gonna send you a fucking uh a, a bid or something like that, bro. So you can just it, you can just go through, you can screenshot the comments. Because you gotta read the fuck the com you gotta read the comments on the, you do. On the fucking show. Cause that shit is crazy as hell. Alright. <laughs> now for IG, I'm going to I'm gonna put this last segment and like I said, we wanted those like the women in relationships 
you know, the married women, yeah. you know, engaged, whatever the case may be. We want y'all to stick around for this very segment. There's a video going around, and IG, I'm going to put my headphones up so y'all can hear whatever the fuck like I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen the video already circulating or whatever, but we're going to talk about it. If y'all want to patch it, if y'all want to talk to us, y'all can go to midweek underscore vibe on IG. Whatever well, that will patch you in or whatever, you know, you can say your piece in a minute. In a minute. Say that shit in a fucking minute. In a minute. 60 seconds. <laughs> Kings and all these questions. 60 Kings seconds. made up a whole new segment. She said, let's play What If. Hill. What if Chris Rock took off running from Will? See? What if Kevin Hart was hosting? And what if two grown men started rolling around on the Oscars? <laughs> See? <laughs> See? You know? See, that's how that's how the Twitter memes start. That's how they start. Because of thoughts like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look, hold on. Now, look, I had, look, I, and here was another. See? I need to get in the fucking making memes or whatever because I had another one. They do be fast. I had another one. They should have put, look, they should have took the clip from above the rim and put Jada face on Tupac yeah. and put Will uh, face on, what's his name, whatever it's say, and throw the bag at him. Handle your business. Handle your business. <laughs> Handle your business. All right? So, I'm going to play this shit, and then we go ahead. Maybe y'all can hear it if I plug it. There you go. All right. What if they can? Yeah, I'll put it in to where IG can hear it. I remember my grandfather telling me, God rest his soul, before he passed away, that men have four different appetites that you have to tend to. He said, men are not complicated. So I'm just going to break it down to you. He told me, he said, men have a physical appetite, a visual appetite, a sexual appetite, and an emotional appetite. And for a minute, I really didn't understand it when I was younger, but as I got older, it really started to click. It always stayed with me. He said, physically, you need to make sure that you know how to cook. And if you don't know how to cook, then find out how to cook. And if you can't, then at least have a meal on the stove or in the stove by the time he get there that's warm especially if that man is taking care of the household he said it don't take a lot of work he said it don't and i watched my grandmother do it i watched her do it so i know that i'm capable he said a visual appetite he said keep yourself up he said if this man if you're the only woman that this man is going to be with at least keep yourself up he said because men need to still need to be stimulated visually so that way they can crave you he said and yeah he said love will still be there he said and although your looks will fade you the one woman that he wants to look at Give him something, excite him, make him imagine something, tease him, right? And that's a sexual. My grandfather told me, he said that, yes, visually you can stimulate a man. He said, but don't forget that men are <laughs> sexual in nature. He said, and so they gonna wanna do what they wanna do to their woman. You're the only woman that he's sleeping with, you're the only woman that he desires. Take some time out of y'all day. He said, look, if y'all gotta share the responsibility, share the responsibility. You both do things in the house so that way when the kids are down, y'all both can bathe and oil each other down do what y'all need to do he said that's gonna help y'all connect and then last one he said men do have an emotional appetite he said all men want to feel is appreciated understood heard that's it he said just listen to him you don't gotta talk much just listen he always told me that men are not that complicated he's absolutely right <coughs> all right all right <clears throat> so ah <sighs> I mean, how look? How do you wanna how do you wanna pack this? Because you know, for like for you know for ages, for ages, men men have been saying like we're simple creatures. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't require much. You know, now there are, like there are some fucking divas and and, and whatnot. Right. You know, on both sides in any capacity. But we've been saying it for the longest. Now here's a woman. There's a woman who said that she got the game. Mm -hmm. You know, from from her grandfather. Or whatever. And she agrees with it. She like she applies it and says like the four like the four things, mm -hmm. the four things that you know that men require. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Keg says she agrees with a lot of that. And so I want to get into what she don't agree with here in a second. <laughs> uh, it's fucking simple. Very simple creatures. Now, of the four. Th More weight than others, but for the most part, we are um, simple creatures. Yeah, right. We are simple creatures, and then also, really, truly, a lot of us. I guess I'm gonna say a lot of us, right? We only want all four of those things from one woman, and to be honest, we'll take three out of the four from one woman because you think about it, that's of a hundred percent. That's twenty five percent. 
So 75% of that, that's pretty damn good. 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So we I, I just think where the, the 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 lapse comes in is that women fail. Not all. Damn, not all. Not all. Shit. Not all. We, it's crazy. We got to say that. You got a disclaimer. You got to say that disclaimer. Not all. Not all women. Not all. But um, some just won't listen to what their man is saying, all right, or trying to tell you. And it happens to women, too. Yeah, okay. It does. But we're talking about the men this time, all right? Um, they just won't listen to what the man is trying to tell them. And then, and then, Understanding that we're not asking you to fix anything. Not at all. We're not asking you to fix anything. If I'm not enough for you, there, there are a plethora that are out there. I'm just asking you to take heed to those four things. Just take heed to them. I'm going to go to Whitney right here. <laughs> Take me for what? what? Uh, yeah. I'll never <laughs> can't say I don't cook. Yeah, I said it. Okay, that's great. That's great. We said three out of four. We said three out of four. If you're looking good, you're fucking good. If you if you're giving him you look emotional and, and you're listening good, yeah, <laughs> then we're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Take out, goddamn. You know, because ladies, 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 listen. We understand that this is not 1942. We understand that shit. And guess what? You should understand. You that should shit understand too. that shit too. <laughs> and we cook for ourselves. We know how to cook for ourselves. Hell. I look, I look, I know how to do everything in the fucking household besides bills and all the That's what I'm saying. I look, I know how to fold my clothes, wash clothes, cook, clean up, all that shit by the age of, look, by the age of eight. By the age of eight. <laughs> I was running the damn washing machine, I dishwashers. Heard, I heard Anita come on at uh, at six o'clock in the morning on Saturday. On I knew what Saturday, time it was. It was time. You heard that. Clean. You heard that. Ooh. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm kicking sheets every day. Fuck, motherfucker. God damn it. For me, it was Earth, Wind, and fucking Fire. If I hear September, do you remember? No, I don't <laughs> remember. Yeah, I remember. It just happened last week. Yeah, I remember. I remember. It was oh, last week. You hear that? Do you want to ride in my Mercedes? <laughs> Fuck no, I don't. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> I want to sleep. Oh, shit. No, okay. So, because I want to get your take. So, now, Kate does make a good point here. But she does make a good point here. And I, and I do want to, want, because I think this goes along with the lines of that we, it's not 1942 anymore. Yeah. Okay. Whereas where predominantly the men were working uh -huh. and the women were staying at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, most of the time, it's a dual partnership. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have two incomes. Both people are working. Um, you come home, share the house, hold responsibilities. Yeah. Right, um, throw kids in there. You share the kid responsibilities and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's what's kind of changed the dynamic of why it isn't so simple anymore. Yeah, because because now what once was isn't anymore. People, women aren't just staying at home anymore. No, you know. But what I also feel still should happen, even though, even though we're both working we're both sharing right i'm still a man you're still a woman you still want to be loved in a certain way yeah i still need my ego stroked in a certain way mm -hmm. and so therefore we've got to find that balance if you the boss at your job don't come home bossing me not at all you know what i'm saying don't come home bossing me mm -hmm. right and it's and vice versa if i'm the boss at my job i'm not i shouldn't come home and be bossing you no you know i i, I have to figure out how to talk and communicate and love you the way that you need and vice versa. Love language. Love language. Yeah. But more of the shit is we're simple as fuck. We're simple. <laughs> as I put look, as I put on my connect, look, that was my that was my commercial voice. This we fun, then we fun. <laughs> <laughs> you ever sounded like no, Optimus Prime is just this week on Millie Five. 
for men really simple. <laughs> Tune in at six thirty to find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Jack, look, like Jack. No, love languages are very real. They're very real. They're very real. They're you know, real. now, if you, like, do people really pay attention, or you know, do they want to love how they feel like the other person should be loved? That's the like that. I think that's a lot of people's problem. Yes, yes. Or how they, yeah, how they feel. I should love you. You yeah. know, I'm loving. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Yo, you don't see I'm doing this. Well. Yeah, but that's not how I feel. I'm, cook, I'm, I'm cooking. Know. I'm cooking for you. But hell, the, the, the eighty-five, the eighty-five uh, Georgetown uh, ones came out this <laughs> weekend. Like how many? Look, how many goddamn raffles did you get in for that? How shit? many raffles did you get in? <laughs> how many? Damn. Look, talking about love legs. Goddamn, the fucking final four on, and your ass want to watch Sweet Home Alabama. But you was, shit. Right. How many apps was you on? The final four come around one goddamn time a year. <laughs> and your ass. <laughs> now, now, when I said quality time, that means, goddamn it, well, I want to watch whatever. <laughs> right. And look, I took a walk with you at the park the other day, like you asked. That was for you. Now I'm going to watch this game for me. <laughs> and you going to watch me. <laughs> Got me out here looking at flowers and shit. Hell, shit. <laughs> so you got goddamn pagonia. What the fuck is a goddamn pagonia? What the fuck is a pagonia? I don't even know what the fuck is a pagonia. You better keep that shit in the goddamn tulip to call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who, who we passing in? Who we passing in? Kegs, are you, are you still here? I know Kegs is still. I know Kegs wanted to jump on. Because she said, Kegs said, so I'm not at home all day. I have expressed that, hey, if you want me to quit this job, then I'll learn, LOL. But I'll, but bet I'll have time to open a cookbook. <laughs> you got the weekend. You got the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, and see, like, I've, I've, said, I've said it all the time. I've said it all the time. Yes, I can't cook. Am I, look, am I Gordon Ramsay? Am I, look, you know, all this other bullshit? No, I'm not. Right. Or whatever like that, but. I feel like a lot of people miss the mark with that. Now, if you want to, you, you can. If not, then, you know, hey, I'm more foul to you, you know, your relationships, your happiness, whatever the case may be. But I feel like that's another that's another opportunity for you and your spouse, like, to, you know, to, like, explore intimacy. Yeah. Y'all in the kitchen, you know, learning new dishes or, you know, trial and, trial and error or different shit. Or, hell, take a fuck look, a, a, a date. Take a cooking right. class as a date. Right, right, right. And a, a lot of times, you know, a lot of times it is simple shit that we fail to do, both sides. A lot of times it's simple shit that we fail to do that causes our person to not feel loved, you know, or feel like they are important, mm -hmm. you know, and it's simple shit. Like, let's say someone's love language is touch, like, and you don't touch them for a week. And that, I'm not saying that it's all about sex. That's a big part of it. But I'm saying just, hey, a simple rub on the back or a simple you walk by me or a hug that I don't ask for. And a lot of times that's be what it, what it is. I don't want to have to ask for. It. Mm -mm. Like, you know, or say something about it. All right, Kegs. Look, look, hold on. We hold on, Kegs. Look, we be we be in this kitchen. We be in this kitchen with that. Baby, come taste this sauce. Come taste this sauce. Taste this. We just gonna taste this sauce. Is it good to you? This sauce good. Baby need some more on your pot. Need some more on your need some more salt. What is it? <laughs> what you doing? Where you going? What you, you doing? Let me, slide. Let me slide. Let me slide. Let me slide. Bike. I need to get some more. What you doing? I need to get some more. Hey, <laughs> right, come on, kegs. So, just a little background about me. Everybody is not like I can't speak for all women. Like legit, I'm not trying to. But when I say that I can't cook, it's because when I grew up in a single parent household mm -hmm. for, the, for the first part of my life, so and my mom worked crazy hours trying to support a household of four other people, which my, my aunt died, we had their kids in the house, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And for me, I had, she put me in so many activities because she didn't have care at home to where she could like, you know, and, put, and I wanted to be, so I was in, I didn't get home till like probably eight, nine o'clock from advanced cheerleading class, competition, mm. all this stuff. So there was no time to sit down and be like, okay, baby, let's look at these biscuits. It just, <laughs> it just, it just wasn't time. It was no time to be like, okay, let's do these recipes. Not looking. 
let's do this because she was busy working and I was busy getting my academics and she always told me I want you to work on getting out of here being a better person getting a great job da, 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 da. so she didn't put in front of me cooking as a priority 100% uh, understand. And so for me even when I got to college I was like oh crap what am I going to do for food you know like what am I going to do so for me I've always been in that mode of okay this is your career and which is which happens a lot with yeah I do wash but I work so much that I don't get to do a lot of the things that I would love to do you know Mm -hmm. because I'm in this constant state of having a job job you know so for me when I say I don't cook it's just for the simple fact that I don't have time. It doesn't afford me the time because when I do want to come home and finally Mm -hmm. get home for the day, I'm not thinking about, okay, let me stand up on my feet and just make this elaborate meal. Like, I'm I'm not thinking about that. But I also, before I got married, I also put all that on the table. So I didn't let Mm -hmm. anybody get into the marriage saying, oh, this is this idea of me. No, I was totally honest. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But I feel like some females don't do that. They don't. They don't. They don't. At all. They don't. They don't put that on the table like that. Don't like, say oh, I can do that. Oh, I like to do this. Oh, I like to do that. When in essence, they really don't like to do that. They mm-hmm. just did that because they like us, you know? And so okay. instead of telling us the truth, we had to find out the hard way that that really wasn't something or that really wasn't them. So we got their representative and now. We upset, they upset because now we don't, we're not getting what we need, so therefore they not getting what they need, and it's just a clusterfuck, you know. Yeah, and I tell a lot of people that when they talk to ask me about marriage and all that kind of stuff, I always, I'm super honest. I'm like, listen, red flags are real. I was like, you need to know what you can and cannot deal with. You need to move in with them before you get married. Mm-hmm. You need to try the good. You need to do all these things. Because living with somebody and committing somebody for the rest of your life is a is a big deal. It is. Yeah. It's not something to go blindsided. It's it's nothing. But but I do agree with what that um what what the young lady said about the four things that they need. And I have tried to even like cook like meals before, but I'm so bad at it. It's so terrible. Like. I Damn, I'm glad you admit like, that shit, because I don't want to eat that. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you admit that. I'm the worst, and he knows it, too, and he cooks a lot, and, you know, but he grew up in a household where his mama was an extreme, amazing cook. So, like, everything from scratch. I feel like she even made sugar from scratch. I don't even know how you even do that shit. Damn. Yeah, he did. So, <laughs> he knows how to cook, and I feel like that balanced us out in our marriage feel like a lot of people that's another thing when you look for in your mate if it is a true partnership you should say this is what I'm lacking can you make up for something that I'm lacking and where do I make up for something that you're lacking you know yeah yeah and I feel like it's totally true from what she says about those four things on what a man man needs it y'all are very simple creatures very you know, nothing, very it's, it's nothing complex to you. listen listen feed me Fuck me. Leave me alone when the goddamn game is on. <laughs> <laughs> and, I feel, and I feel like the struggle, and the one that's really hard, too, that I struggle with, what she said is, like, make sure you're presentable. And I say that to my to a lot of people, too. I'm like, women, a lot of times, I think a lot of women kind of get caught up in the kids and stuff like that, and they forget about themselves. And sometimes you have to really put yourself forward sometimes. And a lot of yeah. women either don't have that opportunity or that that space to do that and I feel like a lot of men should then say you know what baby I know you have this I, you want to start working out I'm going to teach you I'm going to do this so you can go do that you know what I'm saying because I, I feel like a lot of women have said that before and felt like oh I don't have time I don't have time to do this I don't have time to work out I don't have time <clears> to do this and a lot of times they don't have time because they're doing a lot with the kids and they need more help and I was, I was just I was just about to go that route because I've I've seen it a million times where you know married couples or couples in relationships or whatever like that yes and you know we can joke around they say like in college you get the freshman fifteen 
Right. Well, you know, in relationships or whatever, you know, they you look at somebody and they're like, well, look, we know you in love because you, you got that happy way. <laughs> whatever. But I've seen it a million times where couples go and like they may like they may discuss, all right, babe, we get back to the gym, we doing right. this. Well, the guy gets back on his routine. And somewhere along the way, you know, whatever we can call it life, we can call it the kid, whatever the case, whatever the case is, the woman will fall off. Or there's some cases where the women don't, and and vice versa. There's some cases where, the, like, where the man just doesn't want to work out, and the woman right. gets back on her routine and work like that, and the other one starts to get insecurities about it. It starts to become like a you know yeah. instance in them. And and women, we're gonna say this right now. That look, look, that, look, that line. Hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. When we say look, look presentable, whatever like that, it does not all the time necessarily mean you got to put on this tight dress and these heels. Don't and, need your makeup. Nah, all the time. look, hell, look. Throw a t-shirt and some boys shorts on. And, you know, roll around, roll around the house. Look. Now if we got kids, roll around the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just you know, and then as a, as a married man, right? I've experienced a couple things, and what I've realized is. And just in me and my other married friends, the what we see happens is most of the time the husband and wife stop being intentional about each other. Mm -hmm. What happens is life happens, jobs happen, kids happen. Oh, I gotta do this for me. Oh, I gotta do that for you know this for you, right? And so I disagreed with my wife on a couple of things, right? She said, "Oh, I, I, I went to the gym one day. I said, no, I'm trying to work out." Because I want you to still be one. I still want you to look at me, you know. So she said, "Do it for you." No, because yeah, I'm doing it for me. But hell, nigga, you the one that got to look at me every day. I'm about to do it for me. My clothes fit. You know what I'm saying? I know, look, look, look. I know. <laughs> Listen, I, I was able to zip up this one jacket that exactly. I wasn't able to zip up. So I know that I'm doing some work. But are you liking what you're looking at? Yeah. And then vice versa for her. I was like, she was like, oh, I gotta go do that. I got. I said, no. I said, go get your nails done. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that. Like I need to. I need to see that. And it's not being pretentious no. by any means. No. It's just me saying this is what I need for me to be able to look at, mm -hmm. right? And if you need to go work out, go work out. We can get a kids club membership for them kids to go yeah. get it out. Go do. We can make it work. Or, or I'm about to say, look, we get off. Look, we get off work. We get off work in enough time. Like if time permits, work like that. Go look. Go get your hour. Hour yeah. and a half. Work like that. And look as soon as look as soon as you come home, I go get my or I can wake up early in the morning, yeah, and go get my workout or whatever the case may be. I mean, you know, and you say that, but a lot of people nope. don't do that. Look at look at no okay, they don't. Know, You're right. They, they don't. don't. No, they don't do that. And I look. And I was about to say. I was about to say yes. That like that may look. That may seem like I'm saying a lot or like in a you know in a perfect world where right that and I know that you know a lot of things happen or right. or, or, or whatever the case may be, but. If it means, if it means anything to you, or whatever, yeah, you will find like you will find a way. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it You'll out. You'll figure it out. You figure it out. But I, and I also feel like men are the reason that women gain weight too. Let me just let me tell you why. Don't you put don't you put that on us, Ricky Bobby? Don't you don't you put that on us, Ricky Bobby? Put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When I wanted to, but he eats so much. He's like, let's eat breakfast. Oh, let's eat lunch. Or let's eat dinner. Oh, finish your food. Why you food? Why you not finishing your food? You not? You don't want dessert? Our metabolism. Sure, no. Our metabolisms are different. Our metabolisms are different. And, and that's what and that's what I had to explain to him. I'm like, listen, I'm not hungry. You need to eat. You have to have a balanced meal. The blah, blah blah. I'm not hungry. Kids. Yeah, cause we ain't so look. Like he ain't shove it to you, mouth. He ain't shove it to you. Huh? He ain't shove it to you. <laughs> yeah, he did. No, he didn't. He would always order like big meals, and, and you know he's always hungry. Like right now, he's he's waving like, "Are we going to eat?" I'm actually not hungry right now. <laughs> look. He's ready to go eat. Look, look. I'm like, I'm starving myself. <laughs> yeah. Say she is full or she don't want to eat. Don't make her eat. No, no. No, nah, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. But at look, but at the same, but at the same time, same time, if you see me getting to go up and work out. Don't look. Don't women, women do not do not do this. Women do not do this. What about that? Be sitting up at home, 
Who you love? But the, the question: Who you working out for? Who you working out for? Or, you <laughs> or, or <laughs> hold on, hold, or or be like, you know, hey, look, you know, I'm, I guess I'm gonna be, I guess, look, you know, I'm gonna be, you gonna be the fine one. I'm gonna be over here, blah blah blah. Yeah, don't guilt trip me. Like nah, that. don't, don't guilt trip me. Or or if I go, if I see myself in the in the mirror and I'm seeing some results. Right, and I'm feeling myself. You're like, oh, okay. So you just think you all that now? <laughs> yes, nigga. Yeah. I've been in the gym. Yes, I do feel that way. Yes, have confidence about yourself. Yes, like, look, hey. I just, but I agree. I agree with what you said on those four, and I feel like it all comes down to communication too. It and does. It does. You have to communicate before you get into these situations with these people who. Absolutely. If you don't do like counseling, all that kind of stuff, like at least have the real conversation. You can even start with what are your love languages? I know it's so stupid. Um, I remember I was just telling my friend this other day about how this dude, when I was in college, bought that book out and asked me my love language. And I was like, this dude is weird. Because I wasn't ready for it yet. Yeah. You know, I was like, Who, what, what are you talking about? Love languages? What does that even mean? You know, all that kind of stuff. But that stuff is real. It is I real. Feel like a lot of people. Hello? I think, I think that would get you at least talking in the right space to say, now you know what's important to him or her. You know, like it's all about communication. Facts, Kegs. We appreciate you, Kegs, as usual. Yeah. All right, go eat. All right, Kegs. Go eat. See you next week, Kegs. <laughs> go eat, Kegs. Go eat, Kegs. <laughs> go eat. <laughs> All right, you know, look, look, I'm going to start the music early or whatever because I can just I can just hear the fucking team right I now. I know. Good, right. good. All right, so let's get on to Black Owned Business. Let's get it going. All right, this week's Black Owned Business is brought to you, of course, by our partners and sponsors, Assist for you all right www.assistforyou.com you can go and get all of your small business and social media needs from them so make sure you check them out at www.assistthenumber4u.com you gotta be cheer ain't he because i got fit in the dress next week that's why we all don't eat hey make it happen all right so this week's <laughs> black home business is coming to you from glow juice bar and cafe oh. All right, www.go-juicebar.com. You can find them online, and you can also find them in different spots, like Soiree Coffee Bar, which is another black-owned it spot, is. Is. and different spots like that. All right, so make sure you check them out. You can go to glow-juicebar.com, and you can check them out. You can find them all over the place. All right, um, but they do specialize here in Dallas. You can find them online, or again, you can find them right there in the heart of uh, Trinity Groves at Soiree Coffee Bar. So make sure you check them out. Glow Juice Bar, Black Owned Business. All right. Week. And before I get to the music of the week or whatever, um, I just want to share this bit of uh, great news that just came through. Uh -oh. Now we talked. No, we talked about earlier about you know black people and doing you know position. You know we just had you know a black man. Mm. It's another one. We just had a black man, you know, produce the Oscars or whatever. Yeah. And so the NFL has been, you know, battling with a lot of, you know, injustice in retrospect yeah, to yeah, head yeah. coaches and whatever, not looking like us. Facts. Well, breaking news, Bruce Aarons is retiring from head coaching. He's going to the front office. And, and, you know what, what, is, what, what the fuck you clapping at? Woo. Todd Bowles would be the new head coach of the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Wow. Now, now for those that don't know, like, the story, like, Todd Bowles, and along with, you know, the uh, the coordinator for uh, the Chiefs. Yeah. Has, look, they've been passed up on a lot, on a I lot understand. of different, on a lot of different, you know, occasions as far as head coaches. They've been passed up by college coaches, you know, hell, special teams coordinators, all this other stuff. So to see another black head coach, in the NFL. Shout out to Todd Bowles. That's dope. That's dope. All right? We rocking with you. I may, look, I may have to get a Bucks jersey now. <laughs> you know? But, you know, on to, like, uh, the music of the week. On to the music of the week. Music of the week. Long time coming for this album. Man, it's crazy. You know, long time coming for this album. Even though he's no longer with us. Man. You know, R.I.P. 
RP, you know, to like to one half of, you know, the lyrical duo of a tribe called Quest. Fife Dog. Fife Dog just like they just released his album entitled Forever. Alright? Fife Dog. The album is entitled Forever. So go cop that. Go check it out. You know, it's a lot of surprises on this shit. I'm down. A lot of surprises. Alright? Fife Dog. You know? Just wish that he was here to celebrate. For sure. You know, this shit. For the black on, I said black on. You did. It is black on, though. It is black on. Uh, <laughs> but, the, but the music of the week is Fife Dog. The album is entitled Forever. So go check that out. What up, Scott Blue? All right. But other than that, bro, other than that, other than that, Will and Jada took us a little long. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he did. And also, Will and Jada took us a little long. Say, and all, time. Yeah, and, all, and also know people. Also know people that we can we can patch y'all into the studio now. Yeah. But like, we got to keep y'all at a, at a limit. We got to give y'all the church mic. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Look, you just look, you just give me the reins over here. I look, I cut them off. That's what. <laughs> So what I was thinking was, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 cause y'all. <laughs> Sorry, you go here. Sorry, you go here. <laughs> Sorry, you go here. All right, but other than that, people, you know, um, you can catch us on the top seven platforms in the world. You can catch up on all the previous 101 shows. One show. Damn, this shit is crazy to say. It still is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy to say. Hundred and one shows. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this for everybody out there in Radio Land, wherever that, whether you're on the top seven platforms, which are Spotify, Apple Podcast, yes, sir. Pandora, yep, iHeart, yep, Google, yep, YouTube, yep, Audible. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You said Apple Podcasts already. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Our Radio, Pandora, YouTube, uh-huh. Audible, and Google. And Google. There you go. Yeah. Top seven. You said I, all of them. Yeah. So while you're listening out there on all those platforms, whatever like that, listen, if you want to collab with Midweek Vibe, right. you want to work with us, all you got to do is either DM us at Midweek underscore Vibe on IG, that is Midweek Vibe, two words on Facebook. Yep. Or you can email email us at vibes midweek at gmail.com. At gmail.com. There you go. IG, I'm, I'm placing it in there. Look, hey, so, if you want to collab, if you want us to come out and, and speak, if you want us to help you out with anything, all that. All that. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. Also, there's new merch online. There is. There's new merch online. You need to make sure you go online to get the new merch that's there. And it's... It's 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 fire. It is. It's fire. I post like we'll post pictures. We'll right? post pics, but post you need to go get your merch, all right, and uh, and support us. Yeah, this, support this black owned business. Support this black owned business. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get crazy with the shit this fucking summer. Let's go. That's how it would be. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about that right now. How to look and how some shorts. How some shorts. How some shit. Point yeah. How some shorts. How that shit point down. And yeah, I see it. Yeah. Whatever is great. I see a picture. Whatever is greater than. Man. I told you about this um, shit. Yeah, I know, but I didn't have to see it. <laughs> you know, I told you about the shit. You know, I'm about to get some more shit paid up. All right, but other than that, people, if there's nothing else, man, we stand. We stand. All right. It's been another episode of Midweek Vibe. I'm your boy, Cole Bank. That is Rick Winston. I am. Until next week. Peace. Peace.